Okay, I'm gonna do a quick outside video of the host Yukon. This is a 2023. So you got your water fill here. This is your access for your water tank. There's no magnet hitch up here, so I leave a piece of tape down there if I need to get in here to do anything and to tape this open. So, but that's pretty much it. Some of the add-ons that we did, of course, is the stable camper bars in this snap pads highly recommend it if you don't have snap pads go to rv snap pads and use dreaming 10 dreaming 10 for a discount code of 10 percent on your order uh here we learned the hard way i learned the hard way that that hinge up there if you do not it doesn't have a stop and this door will continue to go and it's ripped out those screws for, from us before so I came up with this idea of just cutting a tube, uh, a pull tube, and we leave it on our broom handles inside, and that prevents the door from opening full, 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 full way. And it actually stays there pretty good too. Those are just some of the stickers that we've been to. Um, there's not a whole lot of modifications that I've done on the outside, other than if you look right up here got some of that clear blue tape and made that blue instead of white I'm going to change it to orange I think because the blue still brings in the bugs and I did the same thing for for the LED lights underneath is I put the tape under and made the lights blue so if you want to change the light colors it's definitely doable um, your propane tanks two propane tanks in there um, this is the morgue and we just you know have the miscellaneous power cords and, and water uh, stuff in here um, I keep my Starlink mounted here when we're uh, on the road and uh, it works pretty good this is just a miscellaneous um, we never really use these anymore to be honest with you but the extra bicycle uh, 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 inner tubes for electric bikes because we've had some problems out there in in Arizona where you run over some thorns and you pop your tire. The, the lessons learned I had on here, I should have showed it to you. I might have it. This is just another uh, container. This is our DC to DC charger and the switch for the, um, the jack power. So I bought one of those cheap 30 amp power surges and we were in, I think we were in Wisconsin. Where were we at? Hold on. Let me think. Um, Mont uh, Oklahoma. It was in Oklahoma. Bad, bad thunderstorm. Power got went out, got knocked out and everything at the campground. And uh, we went outside because we had lost power and our power surge had fried and it did not turn the power off to the, it didn't turn the power off at all, but it was burnt. So that's why we have a new green cord instead of the original black cord. And then we have this bad boy right here. And that's the, uh, the watchdog uh, power surge. And you can do everything on your phone with it. Highly, highly recommend you invest. It's super expensive. It's like, I don't remember, like 300 bucks. Um, but, uh, highly recommend it. Get, don't buy the cheap ass, cheap ass one. Um, we added an extra sewer, uh, a holder there that I have never used. And I remember the, on the first video, I told you that we do not have a black tank anymore, but some of the modifications that I did do prior to getting rid of this, the black tank is... Still have the piping for it but we got a four inch extension to make this longer so it was easier to get to the other the other modifications that i did on the bottom try to get you a good shot here as i extended that out and instead of i got a cap with this on here so we can run a black a, a small black hose to discreetly dump your gray tank if you need to i learned the hard way also i got another uh, uh, cut off valve there 
is that I siliconed these on here because the, I actually lost that whole setup one time on, this, on the road. Somebody found it and somebody got a good little prize, but I siliconed it so it would stay on there easier and uh, it was harder to get off. I, I siliconed all the way up to there and then to that point there, it's easy to get off. Let's see here. Again, the stable camper bars. Uh, this is your black water fl uh, flush that we never use. I put these on here, but I'm gonna show you in a minute. The best one that you can do. You don't need all these little ones. It's kind of when I was in my rookie days. Is this sucker right here. Get you one of those because why? When you're in the truck, your window's right here. And you can just literally look up and see if you're level or not. If you want to check that out, you can see that we're perfectly level. So you only need one. And you can just look out your, your window or your driver's door and see if you're level. So another thing is, you know, we have the DC to DC um, charger with an Anderson connector on here. And another th thing that we added was the solar lights, which is great if when you're boondocking. If those ever come on at night, you know you got a person or an animal outside your RV. So I have those on the on both sides and on the back. Um, we carried this. We used it a few times when we were like in uh, Yellowstone or Custer State Park where you didn't have, you just had water and power maybe. So you had to, you know, use 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 the tote to, to dump your black and your gray. Another reason why we got rid of our black tank. But uh, ever since we got rid of our black tank, I've never used it. I keep it there, but I've never used it. Um, I keep the shovel back here that's mounted. And I guess if somebody wanted to steal it, they really could. But I haven't had any problems with over you know, 10,000 miles and nobody's really messed with it. But you, multiple uses to dig yourself out if you got stuck. A great fire poker you know, when you're doing your, your, your fires. Um, multiple uses for a shovel. Highly recommend it. Make sure you get one that you can actually use. Um, we have the Truma. Now, there's two settings. There's Eco and there's um, On. And on is keeps the water at, a, I think it was 100 degrees all the time. And it's on demand, but it keeps it warmed up all the time. And Eco, it only cuts on when you use it. So we keep ours in Eco. And what we do is uh, we really don't waste any water, but um, when you're turning the shower on, if you're boondocking, we have a, a pitcher that we put the shower head nozzle into. And when we turn the water on, all the cold water comes out first before you know the hot water will get there. And once the hot water gets there, we shut it off and then we have they basically recycle the water, put the water back into our, our, our tanks. Um, that was in the pitcher. But uh, a propane bottle, that'll last us. If you're not using uh, the furnace, the propane bottles cooking all the time on the stove and using the hot water, man, I, I think we filled it up one time in six months. Um, so it's very, uh, uh, very economical on it. Another thing that we've done is we put a pet alert sticker on here. So it has our phone number and, and what the dog's names are and the cat's name are, whatever, in case there was ever a problem, somebody had access, you know, could, could call us, uh, you know, if there was a fire, or, you know, something was happened, whatever. Um, that's really about it for the outside. Um, some of the, 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 the definite ones I would definitely do on for upgrades is you can't, you, you, you're going to, if you don't do this, you're going to have a problem. Put those on there so you don't bust the, that hinge out. The snap pads, 100% get, and the stable camper, uh, bars, 100% get. And the snap pads, I want to say they were like a... 150 bucks and this maybe is like 200 bucks uh you know this is maybe three bucks uh for your outside stuff um and don't cheap out get you a good don't you don't have to get that one we did a lot of research and there was this one and another brand i'm sure if you do the research you'll find out but we really like this one because you can do everything from your phone it's bluetooth so you can see how much wattage you're using how much amperage you're using how much power you've used 
since you've been there. So if you're paying by the kilowatt out of certain certain places, like if you're there for a month, you can actually verify that what they're telling you is true because you, you got the reading too. Um, so those are my recommendations for this. Make sure you get the, the solar lights for the outside. But that's really about it. It's just a quick little video of what we got going on for what we do, what makes it work for us. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know.